Business Brain, episode 500 for Casual Friday, November 10th, 2023. (music) Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we get together Bring up a topic or three. Some of them you send in to us at feedback at businessbrain.show. Some of them we come up with. We analyze the topic or topics. We crunch through them. Together, we tune our collective business brains so that we can each keep on living that charmed life. Sponsors for this episode include shopify.com slash businessbrain. That's where you get to go and sign up for your $1 per month trial of my favorite way to sell merch and all that stuff online. And also Miro.com slash podcast where you can go and your first three Miro boards are free forever when you sign up. We'll talk more in depth about each of those in a minute. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean. Happy 500. Happy 500, man. Yeah, that's uh, it, that's no small feat to have the bullheaded it's... persistence to get to 500. Yeah, yeah there, exactly. And there were, you know, we've we've figured a lot of things out along the way. And we're going to talk about some of those things here. Yeah. Uh, but you know, there, there were periods where we were not, we were getting something out of having a conversation with each other every week. We knew that many of you were listening, but we weren't getting a lot of engagement from you. That has changed, but it's changed because of things we learned. And we'll talk a little bit about that, but where I wanted to start today, Shannon is I started looking at the first few episodes. So Episodes one and two never saw the light of day. I know that I have them archived somewhere here, but they were just, I didn't know what I was doing and I needed some uh, practice. We needed practice together. Right. Yeah, exactly. And, and so we just, instead of practicing, uh, it with, without any structure, we practiced with structure by recording episodes. And it was just like, we'll just get to where we're comfortable enough with what we've just done. And then we'll release that. And so yeah, episode smart. three was the uh, the first episode that was released. Now, up until moments ago, uh, there was a mistake there. No great surprise, because episode three was marked as episode four. So was episode four. So that's changed now. They're all episode three, which is great. Uh, but um, I was looking and there's an interesting thing that happened. Episode. Uh, I want to make sure I got have this right. Episode four. One of the things we talked about in that episode was sacred cows. The idea that there are things that you learn in your business and then things change. But if you hold on to what you know to be true, which really is what you know to have been true, uh, you might miss that things have changed. And that's an important lesson in and of itself. But what's really fascinating is if I then look ahead two episodes from there. So from episode four, all the way fast forwarded to episode six, just two weeks later, I see that we were talking about taking credit cards with your business. Uh, yep, that's right. And we mentioned a company that we've mentioned several times on the show, authorized net. And if you were to ask me about authorized net today, or if you were to listen back even four years ago, you would hear me ranting about how authorized net are a bunch of criminals and they try to steal your money. And they don't treat you well. And they, at least as of a couple of years ago, I, I, this also may have changed, right? Like I have not looked into authorized net since about four years ago. Cause they really, really tried to screw me. And uh, thankfully I was able to get out of my, my uh, deal with them. Uh, but they were, you know, just beating us up on fees and not being upfront about it and not being honest about it and all that stuff. And, and we've left them and, you know, now we use Stripe or PayPal or whatever, and the fees are still high, but not anything, at least we know what they are. Uh, right. And they're nothing like what, what, uh, what authorized net is. Here's what I wrote on March 18th, 2015 in episode six, authorized net great merchant provider for small and medium businesses. Uh, if PayPal won't work for your business. I was bullish on authorized net in 2015, but also in probably 2003 when I started using them. We used them for over a decade and they were the only company that would do merchant processing for, uh, for internet based businesses way yeah, back same. in. We used them. We used yeah. them as well. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And so I loved them because they opened yeah. up a door for me. But then they didn't change when the market changed and other options showed up. They got greedy. Their old model was really nice for them. But once you have some competition, you got to open up your eyes a little bit and look at what's around you. And maybe that's happened again. Like I said, I haven't looked at Authorized Net because they, well, they they pissed me off. But, you know. Yeah. But, and and then PayPal came around and changed that whole thing up as well. And, uh -huh. and they didn't. Maybe Authorized.net didn't change. And then PayPal became, you know, this awesome enabler for small businesses and everything else. But then they've kind of corporatized themselves over the years, too. And I yep. give a similar rant and have had run-ins with them where they've arbitrarily decided to keep your funds or say, well, we're going to keep it for 180 days. Oh. Uh, and you know, when you're a small business that is, uh, you know, you live and die by your, your cash flow, um, it's, it's tough. And so I'm glad to see other companies come along like Stripe, yeah. uh, and other processors. And, you know, I always mention this to people don't, that are, don't get like those yes, might change too. Yes. Yes. They will. I and, guarantee and, you they will. And like, like I'm saying now, like I, I had a fury for authorized net, but if they were the right processor for me to use now. I would use them. You, you got to let that stuff go. And I think that, you know, that's one of the lessons I've learned doing this show. Yeah. 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 And sorry, and you I gotta keep adapting. You. Yeah. No, no, you, you have to keep adapting because nothing stays the same. Uh, even, and that's wh where you started this conversation as everything changes. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to do the rest of this show, just about the stuff we've learned by, you know, doing 500 episodes over eight years. I think it would be valuable to share. All right, first up, we are featuring a game-changing tool that's revamping the way savvy business professionals collaborate. Meet our sponsor, Miro, M-I-R-O. Imagine running workshops or meetings where engagement isn't just a goal, it's part of the system. With Miro, you're not just sharing ideas, you're interacting in real time, whether it's a high-stakes client workshop or a team huddle. Picture this, real-time feedback with lively discussions, powered by Miro's built-in voting and funky elevator music timers to keep ideas fresh and focused. But hey, it's not all about synchronicity. Miro knows the hustle doesn't always sync calendars, so you can share asynchronous updates, new concepts, and plan with your customers without the calendar chaos. Miro breaks down the barriers, enabling seamless communication anytime anywhere and for those who've suffered through the slide after slide of snooze inducing presentations miro steps in as your creative savior with dynamic frame and slides functionalities it's not just a whiteboard it's a storyboard where your pitches come to win from mind maps to flow charts miro's got a vault of over a thousand templates ready to kickstart your next big idea and here's the clincher folks your first three Miro boards are free forever when you sign up. That's right, free forever. Start revolutionizing the way you work today. Just head over to Miro.com slash podcast and step into the future of collaboration. Again, that's M-I-R-O dot com slash podcast. And our thanks to Miro for sponsoring this episode. A few years ago, I started another business with some partners where we're delivering content and other stuff to our users. But... When we started it, having an online store was the farthest thing from our minds. Well, now we're selling t-shirts and hats and all kinds of other stuff, and it's so easy. All because I decided to use our sponsor, Shopify. <coughs> Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify's there to help you grow. Whether you're selling shipping supplies or promoting productivity programs, ah, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. I really mean it. Shopify made it so easy. We decided at a staff meeting one morning that we wanted to add merch and stuff to the site. By mid-afternoon, we were finished. It was ready to roll. In fact, it had rolled. We were taking our first order before we went to sleep that night. No matter how big you want to grow, Shopify gives you everything you need to take control and take your business to the next level. 
Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash business brain, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash business brain now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash business brain. And our thanks to Shopify for sponsoring this episode. All right. So what else have we learned, Shannon? What's on, what you got something on your list? I do. I have a few persistence. Mm. Uh, there's been many times where, you know, I, I'm a huge feedback systems guy where yep. I, w- I want to do something and then look and see how did that work and what's, can we do a B testing in this? And my, I, I love doing this show every week and that's, what's kept me involved and engaged and why I'm st- still here after 500 episodes. But the podcast has been one of the more difficult things to, uh, you know, get those results. And one of the, you know, we kept going, kept tweaking things, trying new things. And I'm really happy that now we get our engagement is, you know, so much higher exponentially than it used to be. Um, I'm happy we're, you know, trying new things, doing the show twice a week for smaller chunks of data that are, you know, probably easy, easier to uh, uh, absorb people that are running around. So being persistent, trying new things, critically important. I, uh, yeah, I, yeah, well, yeah, persistence is key, right? Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I have, I have found, you know, there are a lot of parts about running a business and especially the way I am predisposed to run a business that keep me in the trenches more than I is probably good for the business, right? Cause I, we talk about working in your business versus working on your business, And there have been long stretches of time where doing this show was the one thing each week that sort of pulled me out of the trenches and into Mm. working on your business mode, even just the mindset of it. Yeah. You know, even if we weren't talking about my businesses specifically or even in general or even something that would relate to them, just the idea of saying, no, let's talk about what it's like to run a business. And and sometimes that's just venting a little bit. Other times it's being productive about other things. But I have to say that these have been, you know, these last, what, almost nine years have been some of the most productive and lucrative of my career. And I really believe this show is, is no small part of that. I, I, I think it's, you know, th- just yeah, forcing myself insight. to take that moment back every week on a regular basis. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I love that. And uh, I thank I you think by the, the way. For, yeah. Oh yeah, that. of course. Yeah. No, thank you too. Same. It's the, another takeaway of that is we, when we've done episodes about this is every business should have something like this, where you stop for half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour a week and talk about the problems and the issues that you're facing, because that's really what we've done here. I mean, that's how I get my topics. What am I facing? What problems am I dealing yeah. with? Oh, let's talk about that. And uh, I mean, it, it's uh, it all starts just with with those kinds of things. You can do the same thing, and I highly recommend it because, like Dave said, it gets you out of your business, allows you to talk, and whether you're sitting across the table, you know, talking to someone, but you know, we we usually pick a few topics. And try to you know dive into those things. It, it's it's super helpful to get other feedback. And if you're lucky, you know, especially now we talked about AI in the Wednesday episode. You can get that transcribe. Uh, there's a great app called Guru that'll listen to your meetings and create action items and do all that kind of stuff uh, automatically, so you don't have to worry about writing anything down. Try it. Get out and talk about it and sit. And uh, it might be the most productive half hour, 45 minutes that you've uh, ever had. Yeah. Just force yourself to do it. I, I think it's great. It, and, and it's been great for us and, you know, engaging with all of you has been a big part of that because it, you know, we're a community here. We we're here for each other. Just, you know, it, we say, you know, send in your stuff to feedback at businessbrain.show. And of course we want you to, but it, it, it really is a two way conversation. Like we're, we're all here for each other. And I've worked with, several of you out there on things for my businesses too. Like it's yeah. It, yeah. Very. It's the connections, the collaboration. That we've made it, but yep. Yeah. And the connections have been invaluable. Uh, and you know, people want to engage with your business in all different ways. Like I think, you know, people want to engage with Dave and I, and, 
you, you might be surprised if you started the podcast and posted it up on your website, had your employees talk. It's just a, a great way to do it. You know, it's funny when I talk about this podcast business to other business owners um, or other people that are in the podcasting business, the number one question I get, how do you get sponsors? <laughs> the number yeah. one thing. Yeah. And I, and I would thank uh, Backbeat Media, your other business day yep. for bringing those sponsors in. And I love when we have, and, and, all of the sponsors that we've had, I think, are very useful to our, our listeners. And that's what I think is great. Like, you know, Miro and Shopify this week. Those are, you know, apps and services that you can put right to use. And uh, I love having them here. I think they're great partners. It's, yep. It really is worth it. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's it's yeah. been fantastic. So, yeah, thank you, folks. Yes. But really, it, you know, it, th thank you all for listening, for engaging with the show. Because as Shannon said earlier, that's the fuel that keeps us interested. Uh, certainly the money we get from sponsors, the money we get from selling our courses, which we will be selling, you know, this, uh, That's right. it, we haven't had a sale yet, but it's going to happen. We're going to figure it out and we're going to get it out there. It's going to be, it's, it's going to happen. Uh, you yes. could be the first sale folks, but you don't have to be, but you could be, uh, all of that stuff is great, but really the the thing that is the foundation of it is the engagement with all of you. So thank you for that. And uh, yeah. thanks for 500. And, 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 yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. And all. reach out. We really want to hear from you. If you've never sent us an email to feedback at businessbrain.show, now is the time, the 500 ep episodes. Let us know what you think, what you, what you love about it, what, you, you know, what, what we could do to make it better. Um, and today's the last day for you to send in an entry to uh, win that MacBook air that we're giving away. Okay. I was going to say, are we, are we doing the, uh, are we doing the drawing live here on the show or are we going to do it? And then we'll announce it on 501. So we'll announce it on think, 501. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's do it. And we'll, we'll announce it on 501. So All we'll right. give folks this last Friday to, uh, to get their questions get stuff or in. comments in. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Great. But thank you, Dave. Happy 500th. Thank you, Shannon. Happy 500. Thanks. Seriously. Thank you. And thank everybody out there. Like this is, it's been great. So yeah. here, here's the next 500 for sure. You know, now we're moving at twice the pace we were too. It's great. We are. We're cranking, man. We're going to beat my other show that's 18 years old. I, we just hit a thousand. So, you know. That's amazing. I know. It's crazy. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks, today and for the last mm, almost nine years. Thanks for supporting our sponsors, Miro.com slash podcast, Shopify.com slash business brain. And uh, thanks for sending in your stuff to feedback at businessbrain.show. Keep living that charmed life. Have a great weekend. See you next week.